Hello and welcome to this section of the TI-89 Calculator Tutor. Here we are going to solve some differential equations, but in this case we're going to actually supply the initial conditions. Uh, and the calculator is basically going to find that general solution and then it's going to apply those initial conditions to find the value of those constants. And so we're going to get the, uh, the actual solution, uh, the, the specific solution, uh, which uh, is basically corresponding to our initial conditions. So let's go off in the calculus menu and go and put DE solve on there. Now first before we do anything with initial conditions I want to type a differential equation in without the initial condition so we can see what the answer is and we'll see how it changes when we add an initial condition. So let's do something like 3 times uh, y uh, let's, do a, let's do a first uh, order y prime uh, plus let's do uh, 9 times y and let's make it easy, make it equal to 0. So comma x comma y. This is all what we did in the last section. This is a differential equation. 3 times first derivative of y with respect to x plus 9y is equal to 0. x is independent, y is a dependent variable. So we hit enter and we have a, uh, an answer here. We have a constant. Don't worry about the fact that there is an 18 here. That's just because um, I was solving some differential equations a minute ago and it increments this constant. But this is a constant times this exponential. All right, now let's make a change. Let's say we have an initial condition. Recall, since we only have a first derivative, you only need one initial condition to lock this constant down. If it were a second order, you would need two initial conditions, and so on. So what you do, let me go ahead and backspace over this. So we put DE solve on the stack, and we've just typed our equation in. So you don't put a comma, you don't do anything else. You need to put the word and there. Let me show you how to do that. We'll come back and explain everything in a minute, but you need to put the word and there. So go to the math menu, test. Section 8 is a test. This is where you have your greater than, less than, equal to. Well, there's also an and there. You'll understand in a second. So we have this differential equation and we have to put our initial condition. So our initial condition, let's say y at 0 is equal to 1. So we put y at 0 is equal to 1. This is exactly how you would see it written in a textbook. Um, y is a function of x, don't forget. So we're saying basically at x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. That is our initial condition. It's specifying how the system's starting out. We only need one of them because it's only a first order system. So after we put that in there, we put comma x comma y and close the guy off. Alright, now don't forget what we've done up above is the general solution. Right? So once we specify this initial condition, we should see something that looks just